welcome back to Scene TV. We are here in week two, round two of the Adelaide Cabaret Festival at the Adelaide Festival Centre. And I am beyond excited because I am sitting next to the one and only international musical therapist, Jan van der Stoel. Yes. Jan, you have a, a list of credentials to your name. You're not just a musical therapist. What else are you? Oh, no, I do many things. Um, I, I'm a singing psychologist. Um, I'm a musical massage uh, therapist and uh, interpretive dancer. I mean, I'd, I'd kind of like to see all of those things put into play over the course of the interview, but musical massage therapist, yeah. how does that even work? Well, you know, I mean, I mean, most people know that music has been used for many years to lessen the tension in the body, you know, for the purpose of relaxation. Um, so, I mean, I can give you a very quick example. Oh, yeah, for please example. do. Uh, the sound guy better get ready because this is a bit loud. But um, so look, so this is my right hand, yeah? I'm now going to give my left hand my right hand, right? Okay. Now I'm going to put all the tension of my body into that hand. True, that is actually a lot of tension. <laughs> Okay, um, so just watch the relaxing power of my voice, okay? Look at that, look at that. It has look. gone legitimately gone. floppy. I've got, I can't even make a fist, look at that. That's miraculous. Have yeah. you ever sort of um, like thought about going into hospitals and working in a re rehabilitative Look, I said to the, to, to the Starlight guys from the children's hospital, I can come and do that for kids. Uh, they didn't want it. That's fair enough. They've got their own style there. But, um, yeah, but uh, it was upsetting the children. That's okay. I mean, it's not for everyone. I think it's mm. probably better for adults, that one. Yeah, or the yeah. elderly, perhaps. Yeah, the elderly is palliative, really good. Palliative also care. for the deaf people. Yep. I mean, I've had people here again in, in that exercise you know that they just pick it up you know I start and they're going and I go wow they could hear that you know it's really only a matter of time Jen before you're probably beatified I would say that's what it's called isn't it when you become a saint yes well I mean I'm not religious but if if I was yeah that would be fine yeah, yeah. um so you're a woman of extraordinary talents and gifts oh, thank you uh and it's your first time at the Adelaide Cabaret Festival it's my second actually I came many years ago uh I, I think it was almost 10 years ago actually oh wow to do my workshop um I get the music in you with Jan van der Storm. Mm -hmm. uh and that was uh, very popular that was really great I had a great time and helped a lot of people and uh, it's just so lovely to be here again you know yeah. because it has uh, been a while between uh, meals or however you, you say that saying you know drinks drinks parties, yeah, or drinks, cabaret festivals anything really yeah so I'm fascinated to know I mean obviously you've got your massage therapy how else do you get the music in people well I mean I can shove it into them I can do anything really I mean I'm passionate about it so I will do whatever it takes to get it into people you know um, you know I can for example here at the backstage club that I'm running mm. um, I'm going to just do a bit more gentle um, music therapy uh, which is just teaching them I interspersed with, co with um, comp uh, cabaret acts you know I'm going to just show them a little bit about cabaret because uh, I always think that is nice to not just come along and watch and sit passively and become a fatty but just to get up you know and be part of it you know yeah. I mean you know obviously that's what you do look Absolutely. at you you look fantastic and me naturally thin both of us and we get involved you know yeah. in things and I think that is important for people um, so I'm going to get people up doing exercises you know a uh, little cabaret Cabaret exercise things like teaching them about cabaret face, teaching them about cabaret listening face, a few little things like that. Can you give myself and our listeners and watchers any of those tips now, or do we need to? Cabaret start? listening face is a good one, um, where you just you know there's this is very unusual thing. I don't know when it started, but but um, there has been a thing, a long thing, a history with cabaret where where the band always at some point needs to do an instrumental. Mm. And unfortunately that has never gone away. It's still a tradition today. And nobody really likes it except for the band. You know, the audience, boring, singers, irritating. And, you know, but it's got to happen. It's part of the culture. So what I like to do is teach the audience what the singers have to do um, when we're doing cabaret listening face. 
which is listening as if you are really getting into it and getting into the music. Uh, it comes from many years ago and unfortunately it's never gone away. It's still happening today. And, uh, you know, nobody really enjoys it. You know, audience board, you know, singer is usually ir irritated, but the band enjoy it. And so, so what I teach the audience to do is what us singers have to do, uh, which you would know yourself as a singer, Amelia, is to put on your cabaret listening face as if you're really enjoying the music, you know, really getting into it. And then, but actually what you're doing is going to a safe space in your head. Okay. So you're not getting irritated thinking, oh, for God's sake, finish with you, you know. Um, everyone hates it. But you're going, I might have a sandwich when I get back tonight to the hotel. I might, you know, I might, maybe, maybe I'll watch a movie. But they're very expensive movies. But, you know, maybe I treat myself. You know, just go into a little monologue. Yeah. But what you're looking like is like you're still interested. Yeah. So, so the, that's a tip. That's great. That's a really good tip. Um, and, you know, you can probably apply that to many areas in life, really, like having a conversation with the annoying family members Perfect. or watching the, watching the politicians on the news. Yes. Great. Well, you, so you're that's... Clever, so yeah. you're not... It's, um, Jan, you're reaching out to not just the cabaret folks, That's right. to the it's world. For everyone, you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, so many of the exercises of cabaret can be used everywhere. Uh, and it's been such a big year for you, Jan. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. I bet. You've, uh, you've reached the houses of Australians oh, everywhere. Yeah, I think hundreds of Australians uh, watched Australia's Got Talent, a very popular show. Uh, and so, yes, I was on that into the semi-finals. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, yeah, very exciting. I was very, you know, disappointed that you didn't, you know, go a little further. But, sorry, I... I no, that's all right. We can, it was we can, disappointing. It was disappointing. Difficult for all of us. Um, in Woi Woi, you know, they were really behind me, most people. And, and it's been huge, a huge progression for you from Woi Woi, from yes. the Scouts Hall. Yes. That, yeah. And um, so how is it, how are you keeping up with the progression of your career and your newfound fame? Well, um, it's difficult, but, you know, I do have, of course, always uh, help with Peter, mm. my husband and, uh, and cousin, and, uh, and also with Helen, of course. Um, I mean, she's sometimes a bit more of a liability. Like, for example, she's gone missing today. She's supposed to be here, but anyway, I'll have to try and find her before the show. Um, but, uh, but, you know, she, usually she makes a good cup of coffee, so that's pretty good. Um, and, you know, and she works for free, of course, so that's always handy. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, I always have them to help me doing social medias. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the Twitters now, um, Peter's got me, you know, on the Tube of You, uh, so can watch videos there from me, um, the Facebook, you know, I'm on quite a few of the things, um, in Instagrams, um, so yes, I'm really all over it and trying to be uh, popular with the young people as well. Oh, and you are, and well, I've been loving your Motivation Mondays. Oh, or, yes, yeah. the Monday Mantra. Monday Mantra, yes, yes, yes. that's it, yeah. Some They're good really ones inspiring. in there. inspiring, absolutely. Oh, I'm glad it's helping you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's kind of my good start to the week. Yeah, it's good And fun. did you bring Pieta, your husband and cousin, along with no, you? No, he's at home. He's okay. at home. Yeah, we couldn't afford it. So um, I just came up with Helen. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's, he'd be you know, at home looking after everybody and, and keeping things going at the Scout Hall, you know, with the workshops. We've got one coming up uh, next weekend, uh, which is exciting, called um, Female Genitalia and its relationship to the music of Rogers and Hammerstein. So uh, that's getting a few bookings. So, yeah. Great. Well, my favourite things, you know, that sort of it's speaks really for itself, doesn't it? Well, if you want to come, you know, you're very welcome. Just bring a hand mirror, that's all. Uh, uh, large or small or...? That depends on you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, uh, there are a few things that you... I, uh, when I watched Australia's Got Talent, yeah. I was one of the hundred or couple of hundred people yeah. that you referred to. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, and you taught some really great moves. And I was wondering if you might be able to actually teach teach me some sure. of them tonight. Yeah, sure. Um, so, so there's a couple of moves that we taught. Um, it's, they're fantastic. I mean, you can use them in, in, in the boardroom. You know, mm -hmm. you can use them on stage, uh, really anywhere. Um, and so there's a couple of ones we did on the show. Um, one, and you see them a lot actually in cabaret. It's mm. funny. One is called um, My Public, and it, it just goes like this. Like that, yeah. Now you can be, do big ones or little uh -huh. ones. So you could do like a really a big my public like that. Or if it's not that's not right, then just do a little one. Just do, just like Amelia, you've got it. I mean, I can Thank see you. your talent. You know, Thank you. really great. So like a song to do that might be like you know like 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 I don't know like every night in my dream like that. That's beautiful. But then just like as that. the yeah, chorus comes out, one, you, you know? might go like. 
That's it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, Great. That's it. Great. I hope you guys are writing these things yeah, down. Yeah, that's just amazing. You should tape that and just, I wish I'd have that on my internet. Oh, thank you, To say Dan. this is how it's done. That's really great, Amelia. And I, I would imagine that you'll be sharing those with the people in the backstage club. Uh, we might do that in the backstage club, okay. but we've got uh, so many new things to show everyone. Great. I mean, everything we're doing is new in the backstage club. So there's nothing. We've never done it before. So it's really exciting. With Helen? Uh, well, hopefully, if I can find her, stupid, wherever she is. I don't know. She's gone yeah, missing. Yeah, she's hard yeah. work, isn't she? Well, she's sometimes difficult. I mean, she's always got something. She's a hypochondriac, you know. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this, uh, uh, the Australia's Got Talent, we're on bloody television, you know, and she gets a rash, you know, and uh, it all over her body and just up here and into her mouth, and you know, and she was so excited being on it to play piano, but, you know, I just said, oh, that looks too ugly. You can't be on television, so she couldn't do it. But, yeah, I mean, you know, she's, it's difficult with her, but, you know, we persevere because, you know, well, she hasn't got many friends, so we try to help out. Yeah, it's yeah. almost, I guess, your charity work, isn't it? Yeah, a little it, bit, yeah. 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 Well, I'm so excited to have you at the Backstage Club. So you'll be there Thursday, Friday and Saturday night of this week. That's right, yeah. With loads of other guests that you'll be... Lots of fantastic people, other right. famous people. Great. Yeah, so it'll and be really good. Do you think, um, who's that friend of yours? Um, Queenie, will she be making an appearance? Yes, um, well, yes, she managed, I don't know how that happened really, um, but uh, she's an old student of mine, Queenie van der Zand, and she managed somehow to get herself on the bill, and that's all she's doing. I thought she was doing another show here or something, but, yeah, she just started doing one show in, uh, in, in one song in my show. So, okay. yeah, she'd been kind of riding on my coattails a little bit, but um, anyway, she's an old people student. People do that when you, when you get on famous, the rise of fame. Yeah, exactly. people try to, you know, clutch on to you. Yeah. But anyway, that's all right. Um, she come and do a few songs, and that's fine. And yeah. will we be having some songs from you, Jan? Oh, yeah, I'll be Great. doing a few little things, yeah. Well, I cannot wait to get the music in me. I Thank feel you. like I've almost got a bit of a head start against everyone else in Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, just a few things. I'd like to put you in, in the hot seat, if I may. All right, go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, no, let's play a little game of word association. Okay. All right, because that's more fun. Okay, music. Cedipi. Uh Adelaide. Sunshine. <laughs> well, it has been this week. Well, it so was yesterday. Today. It's pretty shit today. Yeah. But yeah. Cabaret. Festival. Winter. Is coming. <laughs> Game of Thrones. That's we a nice that. pop culture reference. Pieta. Husband and cousin. Helen. Shit. <laughs> Hopeless. Ah, uh, champagne. Bubbly. Sex. Ugh. I don't. Oh. Okay. Next one. Uh, my public. My public. Your public. <laughs> or my public. That was confusing. <laughs> uh, Jan Vanderstool. Unreal. <laughs> Australia's Got Talent. Popular. Eddie Perfect. Who's he? <laughs> <laughs> Ali McGregor. Oh, fantastic in Love Story. Fantastic performer. Love that with Ryan O'Neill. Oh, beautiful film. <laughs> uh, and finally, Scene TV. Scene TV. Well, you've got to Scene TV to believe it. <laughs> Jan van der Stoel, this has been an absolute pleasure. Oh. Not only have I had the privilege of talking to you, I've had the privilege of learning from you. Always. And I will be taking that massage technique with me Do it. for years to come. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try it on my you. partner tonight, actually. So Ooh, thank you for that. Sexy time. Well thank done. you. Thank you so much for joining us. And get to the Backstage Club. It is going to be an absolute hoot. Look out, people of Adelaide. International musical therapist Jan van der Stoel is here, ready to heal your wounds. Thank you, Dan. Okay. <laughs> Ciao for now. <laughs>